This is an ABC 10 News update. And good evening, I'm Steve Atkinson in the ABC 10 News studio. Today, U.S. lawmakers observed the anniversary of the Capitol riots. Local Representative Sarah Jacobs had only been on the job for four days when she found herself in the middle of the attack on the Capitol. The fear that at any moment a door could open and uh, someone with a machine gun could be there and it would be all over. ABC 10 News also reached out to Congressman Darrell Issa, who issued a statement which read in part that was a difficult day to be in the Capitol, but the weeks and months that have followed have been devastating for the nation. Today is an ideal occasion to reflect on that fact. Now to the pandemic, another university is going virtual because of the Omicron variant. UCSD says that staffing shortages and COVID exposures of students is forcing them to extend mandatory remote learning through January 31st. Yesterday, San Diego State extended its remote learning to February 7th. Cal State San Marcos will be going virtual for two weeks beginning January 24th. And a deal today between Republic Services and its union sanitation workers, it failed. That leaves trash piling up in parts of the city of San Diego and Chula Vista going on three weeks now. Of the over 200 union members who voted on today's offer, only around 38% voted to accept that deal. The company brought in Blue Clue relief uh, drivers to resume services in some areas, but not everyone is getting their trash and recyclables picked up regularly. Thing is, though, we had a gorgeous San Diego day. Hopefully we have more like that in store the, here the coming days. Here's Angelica. Steve, the best part of the day, definitely the sunny skies and mild weather. Temperatures will be dropping about 5 to 10 degrees and the winds will become gusty in our mountains. So a little bit of a change on the way and I'll explain how long those changes will last and what we'll see throughout the weekend.